Hey, welcome on in, guys. Tobin here with you, and thanks for checking out the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic out there. As, uh, you know, we're getting some action in here. It's uh, potluck day over here at the uh, the studios. But the show just wrapped. And um, this was kind of crazy, man. So uh, d- a former Dolphin safety, Deshaun Elliott. I think if you're a Dolphin fan, you remember Deshaun Elliott. Last year was the starting safety for the Miami Dolphins, opposite of Javon Holland. And um, they did not bring him back this year. They ended up going with Jordan Poyer, which has been... I mean, just an aces decision by the Dolphins. But he is now on the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he was on a podcast with Marlon Humphrey from the Baltimore Ravens. They were teammates in Baltimore, and uh, they were discussing the upcoming matchup against the the, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Ravens. So we're talking about that matchup, right? And Deshaun Elliott had a couple of comments, (coughs) excuse me, um, which were pretty disparaging about his former team. And one, I actually, I don't even know which one you want to say is uh, is worse than the other because when I was listening, I was like, geez, like that was uh, that was pretty uh, that was pretty harsh on his end. But this was uh, Deshaun Elliott on the podcast where he was talking about this matchup against the Ravens. And if you guys remember, the Dolphins got smoked by the Ravens last year. It was uh, one of their worst losses of the season. And he said that it was because the team was soft as bleep. So this this will be fun. This will be very fun. I haven't been I haven't been able to play against Baltimore the way I wanted to because last year I played up for a team that was soft as f- I mean, they, oh, my God, I can't put that on there. That was pretty soft. The guys on the team were soft. But there were some guys who were tough. But, like, for the majority, majority of the team, there was not – mentally tough individuals um so to be on a team with the full team of mentally tough guys going against another uh mentally tough team and AFC North ball you know this is gonna be it's gonna be fun man it's gonna be fun I can't wait to see Marlon again all right so man I was like whoa all right and I saw that clip was uh circulating the rounds on Dolphin's Twitter I guess Mike McDaniel was asked about that today and he was like political and he had said like oh, I'm only focused on our team this year and um he said I'm only concerned with the Dolphins and he said uh cool you said it on a podcast here was the clip this is Mike McDaniel's response to it for Dolphins for I think um I think uh uh yeah I'm, I am supremely only concerned with the 2024 Dolphins for sure um, and, and I think that, uh, you know, every, every team's ability to be mentally tough, um, in the NFL season is definitely, um, tried. And I think, uh, case in point, um, some of the stuff that we, we've been going through and, um, you know, I think, uh, we, uh, our team played a, uh, uh, tough fought, um, game the last three weeks, um, and, uh, and ended up um, finding a way to win this this past week, and um, I, I think that's um, not the easiest thing to do. And just worried about this year's team. And um, yeah, it's cool you said on a podcast. Cool podcast. All right, so there you go. Cool podcast. I don't know necessarily know if I uh, find him sincere on that. Now he said something that I thought was even more interesting about Miami. Um, but uh, let's just focus on the soft comments first because not the first guy to say this right like even Jordan Boyer came here and said that that was kind of the MO on the Dolphins that they were looked upon as you push them they will eventually break right so this is not a new thing to be thrown at the Miami Dolphins they also particularly last year it seemed like a lot of guys had a problem with the way Vic Fangio ran the defense and particularly in the secondary I mean Jalen Ramsey, Xavier Howard, uh, Javon Holland have all come out publicly against the way the defense had played last year, the way they had called. So it could have also just been a style, and it could have been more of an indictment on Vic Fangio necessarily than this team. But but also know that you know the team did also come out and say we want to have a bully mentality. Like Jalen Ramsey was number one in line behind that, where he was gathering guys around in training camp and saying, hey, we want to have a bully mentality. We want to have a bully mentality. So before Dolphins jumped down to Sean Elliott's throat, first of all, not like he's a bum. 
Um, and it's not like his comments aren't backed by others. And it's also tough to know, like, was it all just a player's thing or was it just maybe a style in which they played as well? He definitely seemed like he was like, eh, that was probably a little bit strong. But then, you know, damage was done. It was said on the podcast. So what are you going to do? So, and for Mike, yeah, I don't expect Mike to have much to say about it because the coach is always going to want to snuff out the distraction. I'm curious to see what the players are going to say about it because I'm recording this um, at a time where I don't think any players have responded to it yet, which they probably will today. But he also had this to say about Miami and saying that they're never going to win because of their culture there. And I was like pretty taken aback by this because I was like, damn, that is bold. Uh, That is harsh. Not that I necessarily have a great argument for it, but this was what he also had said about his time in Miami, which uh, they were not fond comments. Uh, these, you know, gritty cities, but then in the right in the middle, you have Miami. What was it like being in Miami as a as a worker? And then, you know, it, it feels like it would be easier going to work in Baltimore, Pittsburgh, and Detroit than it might be when Miami's around. Was that a problem for anyone? I would say it was way easier to do those things in other cities, but in Miami is a distract. Uh, I would say that we already didn't hang out much as a team because there's so much to do in Miami. So guys were dispersed so much and everyone thought they were somebody because of the mindset of, Oh, I'm in Miami. I can be somebody different, you know? Um, and then we go into that city and I felt like we were, we, we were a really good team. And then the injury bug hit us. And then after the injury bug hit us, we played the Titans. When we played Tennessee and lost to Tennessee, you can tell the heart and soul for that team disappeared. We didn't have any more guys that are going out more, guys a lot, well, guys that are going to the strip clubs and throughout the week, guys that are showing up to uh, meetings late. Uh, you can just tell, like, the Miami culture is a reason why Miami will never be good. Like, Miami will never be a good, good football team. And I, was, I don't care. They will never be good because of the Miami culture. Um, I think they have great players, but the culture is not going to be there. I, mean, I don't care what anyone says. It's true. I do love Miami's food. Well, thanks, dude. Appreciate that you uh, you like the food, Deshaun. Yeah, that to me is that to me is almost more damning than just saying the idea of oh we were soft. That was a soft team because like whatever you know you want to say like you're a grittier team in, P- in Pittsburgh. They're playing grittier. They're having a better season, and it's Pittsburgh. That's kind of Pittsburgh's thing. Pittsburgh's thing is to be gritty. It's like literally the 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 mo of the Steelers, um, but man, the idea that the culture wilted, the culture in Miami, you're never going to win with it, and that's either whether you're talking about big city life or you're talking about the state of the franchise are pretty damning comments, you know. Um, now, look, to be fair, if, if people want to get at Mike McDaniel about this, I will say this. Miami has had a lot, and maybe this speaks to more of the city. Maybe the city is too much of a distraction for football players. I don't really understand that. I mean, the Miami Heat uh, have won multiple championships. The Florida Panthers, they're all, uh, you know, they're winning championships. The Marlins have won championships. So it's not like winning hasn't been done in Miami before. Um, But if things go awry, are there better distractions when you're not all in in Miami? Yeah, I said that's that's probably fair. If you're not if you're not in tune and you're not all in. The thing that's disappointing with last year in particular though, and I think we all felt this was it felt like it was going somewhere and then the wheels fell off. And the whole we didn't hang out, that has been mentioned too. You know, I think Tyreek has said that Odell Beckham Jr., strangely enough, uh was the guy that's gotten everybody to be more together off the field, that they hang out more together off the field. And that that has become more of a uh, a commonality with the Miami Dolphins. If that's held up, I'm not sure. That's something that he said in training camp. But if you're just going by the idea of they'll never win in Miami and you're putting it on the culture of just the coach, that's an interesting thing. Because you look at Deshaun Elliott's coaches. He's been coached by John Harbaugh. Pretty even-keeled, tempered, but he is a champion. Dan Campbell, who's the toast of everybody right now, and if you couldn't find anybody more opposite Mike McDaniel, 
and now he has Mike Tomlin, right? And Mike Tomlin, Mike McDaniel, like they don't exactly seem like the same when it comes to personality. Mike Mike McDaniel is flowery and uh, long winded and thoughtful, and you know Mike Tomlin just cuts through the bull bleep. Like that's just Mike Tomlin. And I know Steelers fans. There are some Steelers fans that have their own issues with him, but. You know the guy's resume is still tried and true, and and it's it's been a pretty impressive run of longevity with him. So, yet yeah, to hear this isn't surprising, but it's disappointing because you're at a point right now where, look, everybody's searching for why, other than Tua getting hurt, why Miami hasn't been playing up to what they say is the capability of their roster not living up to their talent, not being the team um, that we all see on paper. And, you know, to, to, to hear this is, uh, is definitely disappointing, and especially the idea that it took one loss to, to feel like it really wilted the team last year. Yes, they also dealt with injuries, which he didn't mention. It's not like he didn't mention that there were injuries and maybe that led to it, but also... Maybe everybody wasn't all in as they should have been. And now the Dolphins are kind of facing a reverse situation. Now, to be fair, they got knocked on the canvas, knocked on their ass a little bit. And it does feel like a Dolphins team that is fighting this year. They haven't gotten all the wins, but they have felt like they fought. I can't knock that from Mike McDaniel. So maybe there was a learning experience last year. Maybe there was growth from last year and the pain of last year. But I will say this year's Dolphins team feels like it has more fight in it. It's just a matter of can they turn that fight into the amount of wins that they need. Um, But these last three, four weeks, really, this last month of football has been pretty well played. They have been some, for, for the majority of the games, the unfortunate thing for them is they just would have the biggest blunder that would cost them the majority of those games. But I don't necessarily think that that was a, I don't think it was a mental weakness thing so much as it's a it's a it's a lack of execution type of thing, um, and that thing has to be shored up. But definitely, definitely eye opening comments because you're just like, damn, you know, you don't you don't hear current players put it that bluntly about a situation that they were in about a team that wasn't bad, but certainly, I think, didn't live up to the expectations they thought of. And he thinks that, well, it wasn't a talent thing, that it was a culture thing, that it was a it was either the climate of the room, the atmosphere of everybody in there, everybody. Another thing that he said, he says, everybody thinks they're somebody. You know, that was kind of an interesting thing, too. Like, everybody down here in Miami, that is, that can, you know, that definitely can grab you of, like, everybody... You know, oh, you you come to this appearance, you come to that appearance, you do this show, you do that show, um, do this signing, do that signing. You know, maybe that's not as common in other places. I don't know. But you definitely could get swept up with that down here as well. But certainly, uh, yeah, to hear another person come out and talk about the Dolphins' lack of toughness, I was like, Jesus, this is uh, this is this that that was not fun to hear. 